Hello everyone. Today, we are going to set up block and unblock system into our app. Let's get started. First step is that we go to our profile page Take a copy of this icon button. Wrap this text into a row and paste the icon button in here. Then space them a little bit and give this a bit of padding. Then delete this previous action chain and go back. Then go to your button icon and switch this to block icon. Then we can go to our group members page and make a duplicate of this that we can use for template. Give this a new name and switch the topic. Then back to the profile page. Add action to that button to navigate to the blocked users page. And also we need to remove the parameter that we have on the blocked users page. Great. Then we can go to searched profile page. Wrap this text into a row and paste the icon button in here. Then same thing, separate the buttons, give it padding, and change the icon to block icon. Then go to your collections and add new field in here. This will be blocked users. Type is document reference collection is users, and it's a list. Then back in here, add action to this button. Remove these and create new one. This will be update document. Authenticated user, user reference. Switch this to blocked users. Add to set and choose poster. Then add a new action, which will be navigate home. And then we can add show snack bar so the user knows that the block is active. Then take a copy of this button and paste it back in here. Wrap this button into a row. And drag the other button inside of it. And again, separate them a little bit. Then change the icon to be checkmark. This will be our unblock icon. Then edit this checkmark action. Switch this to remove from set. Then edit the snack bar text. and close this. Then we need to add conditional visibility to this button. Choose single condition. Blocked users. List contains item. User reference. is equal to true and confirm. Then copy this action and paste it into the other button.
and switch this to false and confirm. Then go to your blocked users page. Remove this and create a new one. Give your children a name. I will set max items to 120 and choose the blocked users and save. Click on the container and make sure you have users document reference query on it. Then click on the icon button. Remove this action and add update document. Authenticated user and user reference. Switch this to blocked user and remove from set. Blocked user item, then close. Then go to home page. Click on the container because we already have conditional visibility in here. Take a copy of it, delete it, and create new one with multiple conditions, and paste it back here. And the other condition will be blocked users. List contains item. user reference is equal to false and make sure that it says false in here instead of second value I am not sure does it make any difference and confirm then let's check this error we can remove this page query and create a new one. Query collection. Users. List of documents and confirm. Then clear this conditional visibility. Then remove this query from container. Add new. Document from reference. Users. Blocked user item and confirm. And actually, we can remove this page user query. Then update everything in here and we can test out our app. Now if we go to our profile and click on the blocked users, we can see that this is empty. Let's search profiles. Pick one and block it. And now it's blocked. Let's block profile number three. And you can see the post has disappeared. Now when we go back to our profile, you can see all the blocked ones in here. Let's unblock these. And as you can see, the post is back. Thank you all for watching. I hope that this is useful in your project and I see you in my next video. Have a great day.